Welcome to Programming Kids. My name is Lynn, and in today's video, we will be differentiating between Python and C++. Well, a lot of people might be wanting to learn a new programming language, and they might be stuck between learning Python or C++. Well, keep on watching to get your answer. First, we will be discussing if you're a beginner. So, if you are a beginner and you want to learn a programming language, we suggest you to go for Python. Python is easier to write, so you can easily write a code and read this and be able to understand it just by looking at it. While on the other hand, C++ is not as easy, especially due to complete syntax. You can get a lot of syntax errors when you're using C++. Alright, the efficiency. Python is easy to maintain and very simple to use. You can find your way around Python. While on the other hand, C++ is hard to manage and harder to maintain. Alright, now let's talk about the garbage collection. Python supports memory management. But wait, what is a garbage collection? Let me tell you. It is a form of memory management. When you have a memory management, you can go back to the things, you can undo and redo things. And Python luckily supports that. While on the other hand, C++ doesn't support that, which can get lots of errors in that case. Well, let's discuss the prototype. First of all, prototype is a design pattern that allows cloning objects. Prototype make it, makes it possible to copy codes, even if they're a uh, constraint classes doesn't allow it or it's unknown so in python you can always uh, copy the codes and use prototype because this because it is small the size of codes are small while on the other hand c plus plus the, the prototype is not possible there because of the really large code size all right next is the speed so unfortunately, C++ is extremely fast and it's way faster than Python. And actually Python comp compared to C++ is slow. Next is the development time. Python is fast in development while C++ takes longer time. Resources. Luckily, Python has an enormous standard library while on the other hand, C++ has limited access to libraries and sometimes you have to you have to pay to access them. Communities. It's at this point is probably really interesting. Python's community is big and C++ community is big, but Python consists of many scientists and even universities. While C++ the community is more of um, consisting experienced developers. So now let's talk about the usage. What can you use Python for and what can you use C++ for? Python is usually used for small apps, websites, university studies, and proof of concepts. While on the other hand, C++ is used for large applications and embedded systems. Well guys, I hope you got your answer. I think that you should learn Python. And if you want to, to know more about what you do in Python, then make sure to check out the video in the description box where we told you guys the top five reasons to learn Python now. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to join our family, build your YouTube channel and watch all of, all of our videos and we would really appreciate it. Keep programming and I'll see you guys next time on Programming Kids. Bye!